other defensive line with John Franklin Myers and uh, with uh, not the approach? I'm loving uh, who they brought in. Um, JFM experience, Roach experience, um, and then just the scheme, the, uh, the ability to attack. I think it gives us all a different perspective on the game. When they brought in JFM, you know, I guess plenty of thoughts you maybe play a little more nose. Are you, are you cool moving back inside up and playing more? I don't care where they put me. At this point, I don't care. How important is it for you guys to improve and stop the run? Not you specifically necessarily, but that's something Coach Joseph has talked about. Mm -hmm. How do you do that? How do you get better? I think it's everything. I mean, if we can't stop the run, we can't win as a team. So it's on us to stop the run. I think we've done a valiant effort so far in camp. Schematically, is there less on everybody's plate mentally than there was last year? Um, yes, I think so. Because um, just attacking, attacking takes away the thinking. Like, oh, do I got to do this? No, just go. So, yes, sir. Well, then in year two, just with the same defensive staff, same coordinator, does that make it easy to just go and not have to spend much time? Yeah, for me, for sure. Yeah, for me, just knowing everything's the same is just adding in going back to my San Fran days of attack. DJ, can you talk about your mindset with, uh, you know, your contract with during the final year? And I, I don't think any of it's guaranteed. Is that motivating? Does that change uh, how you approach this season? I'm in year eight, man. I'm, I'm just playing football at this point. I'm <laughs> wanting to dominate every day, get better every day. So, I mean, I'm not even thinking about that. I've done that before, and it's, it's backfired on me. So I learned my lesson. I, I won't be thinking about contracts. In year eight, physically, are there things, different things you have to do to kind of prepare your body now than you did when you were younger? Oh, yeah. Yeah, if anybody tells you, no, they're lying. <laughs> <laughs> or, they're, or they're a kicker. Um, <laughs> um, no, nah, yeah, you got to you gotta hone in on the details um, as far as your body goes. If you have any uh, surgeries or anything, you got to take care of things before you come out here. DJ, this is your, your third year playing with, with Jonathan Cooper. Um, he's kind of now the, the the established veteran as it is in the outside linebacker room. Where have you seen him grow, both both as an outside rusher, but but also kind of as a leader? Um, the main thing I've seen him is physicality. He take, he brings it every play. Um, he's a he's a physical guy, but I'm seeing a little more. He's more on edge. Um, he's working his, his craft, so I'm loving his his development, his camp. What about the entire edge group? You know, they're kind of all coming into their own position. I think they're all in the same boat with uh, Coop. Um, they're all being physical, point of attack, setting edges, which is what we need to dominate inside and as a unit. What did you learn about playing in the last season with Zach Allen? Whew, details. The details. He's uh, If you ever ask him about his note, just ask him about his notebook. He takes the craziest notes in a good way that I've ever seen. And uh, just seeing that makes me want to be better as far as details. Well, and if everybody's notebooks their own, do you borrow something, bro, or do you kind of go back, hey, what was that that you got it down and added to your... Well, I sit beside them, so I, <laughs> I peek over sometimes. Hey, what would you think, DJ? What we've seen you have uh, game-changing ability along the defensive line at Cleveland game, for example. How, how do you make that a consistent thing as a defense player? Um, The attack. The attack allows us to be in the backfield a lot more. We're not we're not reading, we're, we're not reading. So yeah, and Alex is gonna love it too. So, but uh, we're not reading. He might not have 180 tackles though. <laughs> so the attack the tackle will all be will all be in the backfield. When you look back, are there opportunities you see on film where if we attack there? Could have been that heck yeah, heck yeah, yeah most definitely. Every game, every game. Yeah. Did VJ kind of talk to you guys about kind of why he's emphasizing attack? Like, what's the rationale behind that change? I feel like it's it's the new norm. Like, if you're not attacking, your D line's waiting, and uh, your linebackers have 180 tackles. Um, I mean, attacking is the way. I think.